The BMW 3 Series, it's always been hooked up, tethered to your brain almost. It's been a driver's car through and through, all the while being dressed in civilian clothing. It's Bruce Lee dressed as Margaret Thatcher. So when BMW said that it's extending the 3's wheelbase by 110 mm, I got a little worried. But let's not forget one thing though. This is BMW. They know a thing or two about driving machines. So is the new 3 Series Grand Limousine a driver's car with rear legroom? Is it the best of both worlds? Hi, I'm Ronak. This is Powerdrift and today is going to be a heck load of fun. The best way to figure that out, obviously, was to do it scientifically. And I brought some cones along to help. Now, obviously, first things first, a handling test. But I've been asked to be thorough about this. And since this is the Grand Limousine, I have some ballast to deal with. Now, while they can enjoy the extra 43 mm of legroom, that's going to ruin my 50-50 weight distribution. Not mine, the cars, of course. And since this is longer, my life isn't any easier. On the flip side, it's going to be hilarious. Gentlemen, get to roll. Okay, that was fun. Couple of things to note. You do feel the length. There's no getting past that. And the suspension, it is softer. So the car does roll a bit more. But by no means is it sloppy. It's still so, so good. And on top of that, even in sport mode, it is so responsive. What I love is that it's just so easy to modulate the accelerator, which is something you need in a slalom course just like this. And overall, Thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. But test two, that is the real test. Now for the second test, I see four very promising, very inviting hairpin bends, two sets of very worried faces at the back, two driven wheels, where they should be, at the rear, and one very excited driver. This doesn't need much explaining, does it? Traction off. And we go! The 3GL, it feels light and breezy. It's, it's like you're in control all the time. It actually feels more like you are driving the car instead of the other way around. And exactly how I want it. Honestly, the spec sheet says that it gets to 100 a little slower. But from where I'm sitting, honestly, just can't tell the difference. Okay, let's slow this down a bit. How do I put this? The 3GL, it feels like that person you meet at a party where, despite your own crippling anxiety, you get on with instantly. You know the sort. You just say hi, hello, and then bam! The next thing you know, you're the best man at his wedding. The 3GL is exactly like that. I think this is as good a time as any to remind you or just clarify something to you. Of course, you're not going to be drifting or sliding or doing slalom tests with your new 3 Series GL. But let me put it this way. I have a multi-tool knife at home. And I'm pretty sure if I use it correctly, I can fix world poverty with it. I am never going to use most of these things. But it's just nice to know that I have the option. You see where I'm going with this? And when you slow things down, the 3GL shines. As an instance, those headrests are softer and the rear seats have better cushioning and bolstering. On top of the extra knee room, of course. Plus, the panoramic sunroof is bound to lower your heart rate. Today has been a good day. The 3GL, it's quick. Direction changes are as deft as a rabbit's. And it's comfortable, back there especially, where it counts. How they managed to eke out the extra wheelbase without significantly impacting the driving dynamics, that's beyond me. But I'm not complaining. 
In fact, if I go back to what I said earlier, my concerns about the 3 series appeal diluting because of the extended wheelbase, those are rubbished. Now, the 3 series and the 3 GL, they're on sale side by side. But pick this one. Why wouldn't you? Thank you for watching. I'm Ronak, this is Power Drift and I'll catch you on the next one.